All right. I think for the most part we're still we're pretty good. Um, we can dismantle some of the things we're not using. He's using kind of master those, right? Yeah. I gotta set those to be uh, done. Bag, you're already using one. So many fucking boots. Uh, equipment. Spike shoes. Take the resistance. Oh, save those because we gotta get them worn. Anybody? She's master hers. So uh, here, get the fatigue ward. Can we hold on to those. I don't. I, I don't even dismantle my jewelry because sometimes people need them. But I think. And with that boot. Master hat. Charge effect activation speed increased. Man, his attack goes way down the shitter, but because he's magic anyway, it's not a big deal, I I assume. Give him that. Most part, everybody seems pretty good. Let's go with that, and then uh, keep adjusting as we go. Before I uh, talk to that, that guy... I just want to explore around here. What are you doing? Young daughter of the character card fan versus let's play together. Oh god. Just that game, yeah, that was that fucking card game that I lost. What's the other one that's sitting over here though? I got my butt kicked in the card game because I'm bad with cards. What are you doing for a game? Are you just doing the same shit as before? Oh no. Find food bounce. I probably should have read the rules, so this is going to be my fault. Press uh, an order rapidly. Press jump by L and R. Running repeated, or repeatedly. Repeatedly press the appropriate buttons to bend difficulty level. Jumping L and R to jump areas to the end of the pier. Press the button in the cave while jump before you reach the water. Close to the end of the water surface. Further you'll go. Run, run, jump, and skip your way to the world record. Oh, boy. Look, we did it. I'll retry again because I fucked up. <laughs> Why out of all the people he's doing it? Booyah! 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 <laughs> oh, look, we got eight. There's no way I'll ever get any faster or further than that. I'm just not that good with that. It's a really weird, uh... God. No. So what's it really like? Huh? The connection between Moloch and Vessel. Do you share, like, thoughts and feelings? Um... Sort of. When I'm dwelling inside Eleanor, I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. Sitting in a box doesn't teach you how the box feels. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. Uh, I don't want to bathe with her, alright? I know. You're a boy and all. For her baths, we can send Bienfu. No, that's a Ugh. bad idea. <laughs> It'll have to be Mogulu. Or myself. Phew. What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes. But it's not like I'm sleeping by her side or anything. It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside her. Sounds she ever nasty. Get out of bed at night? Not in my experience. And she sleeps so peacefully. Huh? When she's around you guys, 
She always looks so stern. But when she's sleeping, her expression is... softer, you could say. She lets her hair down, too. Oh, and God. I think it's kind of prettier that way. Huh. So that's what he likes. Well, <laughs> keep an eye on her, but... But? Watch out for the older girls. Huh? <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Alright, hold on. I have to see... I, I didn't see who got the outfit. I'm gonna assume you did, or you. No. Oh, God, what? <laughs> if I was, like, wanting to make it look that, like, jokingly, sure, but I can't. I can't do it. Like, I have to keep it somewhat serious. Oh, my God. That's great, though. You could have such a ridiculous group of guys walking Teresa around with and Oscar it. sure seem close. Oh, I've known man. them since I was an initiate, but I've never seen them quarrel, not even once. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, and he'd sulk and stop talking to me, but I found that adorable, too. You did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, or tried to talk like he was in charge, after a while, he'd be right there trailing along behind me. Like a little puppy dog. Puppies are a lot more obedient. I always had to keep an eye on him. Little brothers are odd creatures. Rokuro's a little brother. Is he adorable <laughs> too? Huh? I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. But Chigure seemed like he was having fun. Sometimes you just don't make sense. <laughs> huh? I don't know. <laughs> little brothers. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Well then, that's perfect. You pretend the boy is your little brother. Huh? That's a bit extreme, but actually, when I'm talking with Lafayette, sometimes says. I think... I like how Lafayette said in the middle of all this. Like. I could be Eleanor's brother. Don't take any of this nonsense seriously, Lafi said. Got jealous. Malakim are just tools to exorcists. She can never think of you as her brother. Oh, yeah. You're wrong. I've changed how I view Malakim. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all talk. Don't believe her. <laughs> it seems to me like you're the one who's treating him as a tool by forcing your own opinions upon Yikes. him. Yikes. Ooh, two sisters struggling for the affections of their brother. Eeny teeny candlestick, which one will the Muppet pick? How about an older brother instead? <laughs> At this point, yes. All right, let's go talk to the, uh, what's his face up there. I grab this, look at all those fuckers. It's just chillin', they don't even give a fuck. Like, yeah, whatever, you wanna eat me, eat me. <laughs> Fucking do it. I don't give a shit. Look what? Hey, this doll? It looks like Bienfu. Ah, a keen eye you have, young man. That is a doll of the Empyrean Amenoch. That's... Empyrean Amenoch? Yep, no doubt about it. I've seen her with my own eyes. Real dignified, but not without a bit of a temper. You saw her? Why was she angry? Well, the Abbeys banned any profession of the Amenochian faith in Oops. Southgand, despite her popularity. Gotta assume that's what got her all bent out of shape. I tried talking to her, but no matter what I said, she was just like... <sighs> <sighs> sounds like everybody uh, I talked to. Wait, that sounds like... And that low-energy goddess you saw? The doll you've got here looks like her? Yeah, more or less. Ha! Fortune smiles upon thee, weary adventurers. That listless goddess is none other than Grim. Grimoire isn't human? When did I ever say she was? So, shopkeep, she's got to a point. See her. I think it was down by McClear Beach. Pensively watching the tide come in? That's her, all right. Quickly, to the beach! Uh, to the beach! Why didn't you mention Grimoire as a Moloch before now? You can't be too careful with that information. Spies, spies listening everywhere! <laughs> I almost went to the fucking kid again for the card, and I, I don't want to play cards with him. Alright. Actually, should check out the end just in case. Her chest. 
stuff. Uh, what was I going to look at? It was something I wanted to check. I don't remember. I feel dumb now. I always want to, like, look at something, but when they're talking, and then I forget. Did I see the expedition return? Was that it? No. I just wanted to check and see if you guys got anything in here. Plus, I didn't know if maybe that <laughs> you would be like a tavern place. Yeah, it would be in this inn that you would do the those missions. All right. To the beach. Very nice place to live when you're not dealing with the whole. Uh, even thing. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Item. Herb that raises max HP with one of the herbs, right? Art defense. Get it. Attack. B. Me. <laughs> I'll just take it. It's not like Kingdom Hearts where I'm like taking every fucking AP uh, thing from it like I did. I'm actually trying to balance out my team a little bit because it's just kind of a team effort. It's not like that where fucking Donald and Goofy are somewhat useless at times. They're just like distractions. These guys actually can kick ass. Alright, time to fight everything in my path. I've already fought so these this guys is before. Muckler Beach. I hope she's actually here. Come on, I need a dangerous encounter so we can get a good fight in. Come on, touch each other or something. Damn it, it didn't happen. They just broke apart at the last second. What level are they? 33? It's alright. Well then, let's move on. Good job, team. Somebody just mastered some. I hit the button like right as it popped up. You mastered the boot. I don't think there's anything else you need to wear. He's wearing that boot. Uh, just put that on again. I don't care. What the fuck? Like, ch chasing me in the weirdest way possible. There we go. Dangerous encounter. Now they're 39. Uh oh. Life bottle. I need to keep practicing. Alright, I'm all out. Yikes! Oh, that was a good time for that fire mine. Oh, it's going in. It always makes me laugh when I see him going in on, like, say, like, the smallest creature. Just going nuts on, like, like a cactus or something. Good job, team. 
put up some fight, okay? Food's ready. What do you eat? We're all good. I love doing the dangerous encounters because it's just tougher fight and helps master and or just get experience off things. So it's like I'd rather just do that instead of individually picking off one at a time. Unless the fight gets way too hard, then get the fuck out of there. The worst sound. Like, what the fuck even is that? Oh, it's invisible. That's not a good sign. Run over here, you freak. Be friends with this thing. <laughs> it's hard to get some of them to get together. Fuck is it weakness? Wind. Look, a shooting star! Look, a shooting star! You don't have to say it every move. Alright, I guess I'm going in because I actually bumped my trigger. It was just like, go fucking nuts. You're wide open. Still swinging. Thing just getting its shit rocked. Oh, now she's going in. about unbeatable you got down just the last fight I'm stunned that was a considerably powerful enemy expedition returned scout Oh, I like how they went out an expedition. It's like, I'm, we're sorry, all we brought back was a carrot. Okay. Give him a little bit more damage. I'll just keep what he's got on. Hold on to that, because she can master that one. I have to do this. Fucking things. What the hell? Your daggers are done, so we could give him this. Boom, 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 boom. Good one health. I'm kinda hurt, so I might as well just eat something. One of my specialties. It's one of my specialties. I put laxative in it. It's very good. Fuck. Hi. To make you feel stronger. Don't get over no Rising Falcon! Make it Four more. Go Four Go Four. Better watch your step! Nope. Oh, no no fuck. Alright, well, they destroyed him. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Wait until I pull out the good stuff. You better be ready. Pulls out his dick. Alright. 
they were nothing. Wish the XP bar would stay. I'm trying to like look at everyone's like XP bars, like how close they are, and trying to like make sure I use the right people at the right time so they're getting experience and they level up. Ooh, I know Lofty said close, but I didn't see what, what the other faces was. All up. definitely make a difference. Lapis' magic attack is way stronger than fucking Magilu. And Lapis is so strong. That wasn't that tough. We just beat up a bunch of, like, octopus on land. A little fucked up, yes, but it worked nonetheless, right? Fight me. Holy shit, you're fast. <laughs> Are we ready that was this? almost a bad or, like, a worse encounter than I could have had. Beat up a bunch. I like that it's just like, beat up these dumpest octopus looking fucking whatever the hell that get stronger. If you were just minding your own business, we're not even demons. working out. I mean, half the time I don't know what I'm doing for a big chunk of the fight, but it all works out. I just wish everyone didn't talk over themselves. Like, I can't even hear my own self. Set a lock. I love how Lofty said shreds through him with his magic. Oh crap, are we able to handle it though? Uh, I don't think so. I think I want to leave now. Might be able to, but I'm getting my ass kicked. I don't want to try. I don't trust that one. It's a pretty up there. Uh, one of my spe one of my special keys. This grimoire who we're searching for is a Moloch like Bienfu, right? To be honest, I don't see how someone so different can be a Moloch just the same as Lafayette or Aizen. 
I understand your doubts. It's quite the tangly mess. I'll tell you anything! Oh my god. In that case, I've been wondering, what's underneath your hat? Oh no! Anything but that! So, we've hit a wall already. But that ribbon flaps around and gets in the way, right? Could I take it off for you? No! No! That's not possible! You mustn't remove the ribbon! Why not? That's another thing I can't say! It's all cans with you. All right. Is there anything you can tell me? I could talk about what type of Malakim we are, or our position in the world of Malakim, or our abilities. Oh, I'd like to know all that. Then I will tell you. Oh, boy. Listen closely. We Norman are a well-established race of Malakim. Compared to other Malakim, we aren't as adept at manipulating natural forces, but we excel at drawing out and heightening the abilities of others. Think of them as a convenient power-up. They're also known as common spirits. Don't even say that! We Norman hate being called that! Why is it so painful for you? Because it makes people think we're average and unremarkable! That's why we work so hard to show how we're all different. That does explain your quirky speaking mannerisms. Don't sweat it. That's a perfectly common thing to worry about. <laughs> Don't say that. Jesus Christ. I like also that we could dress like him if I wanted to. I think Loppy Set could dress up as him. Because <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, man, wouldn't it be fun to use him in a fight? And I was just like, well, he sort of can be in a fight. You can have Loppy set fucking do whatever with it. Dress up, and it'll be like he was in a fight. <clears throat> we see, shall. Just being a demon, can't we just jump? Oh, good thing we got another one. I don't think anybody's mastered or finished up their stairs, have they? Not yet. Yeah, we could jump down. Break my legs, but at least we can do it. Saw that. Oh, shit, that guy came out of nowhere with their little teleportation. That was a little overkill looking. Poppy said I almost leveled up. Wanna have a conversation with that bird over there. What are those penguins doing? Fucking. Probably keeping their eggs warm. Most likely. They look like a mama and a papa. Penguins are monogamous, faithful creatures. They never leave their mate. <sighs> Isn't that romantic? <laughs> so they lay eggs because they're like husband and wife. But oh boy, how do they make the eggs? Huh? That's well. So, so Luffy said, "Here's an interesting fact: a single penguin egg actually contains dozens of smaller orange eggs." Oh, so their eggs must be small and crunchy. Yep, they have the texture of caviar and the rich flavor of sea urchins. Interesting. So they're more like fish than birds. So you've eaten them. How cruel. Look how much they care about their young. While it may be a bit cruel, they taste amazing. <laughs> they're considered a delicacy. Coming from the circles. chick who hunted prickle Top more. A bowl of rice with these crunchy eggs and some rich penguin thigh meat, and you get a dish called family fricassee. That's a horrific name. I was 
wasn't the one who named it, okay? Those eggs look tasty, but I think I'll pass. It'd be funny if they just gave us a recipe. This thing just teleports. That thing runs Ooh, around like a freak. Going nuts. I really gotta get out of my form. I was really worried of sitting in that form too long. I don't want to lose my HP. Training. Is training hard? <laughs> training hard? Yes. Oh my god. Look at all your floric ribbons. Just put a ribbon on a ribbon on a ribbon on a ribbon. Yikes. He's a new fucking doll. Oh, there's the fragments I need for uh, upgrading the gear. I like how she said a biggie, but they're a bunch of small enemies. just came over here to hit me to do go to cast a spell or an art this is just those types of attacks oh going in again That always looks really framey when she does that. Deception, deception, Eisen. Wait, wait a minute. Whew, I thought we were done for. You're telling me. 
Got rough in some edges. The light steps. Well. Might as well put them on. We all good on health? Just about. I'll cook something quick. Some of that prickle boar sausage. Oh, there's one of those demons nearby. Cool. We'll definitely go fight that. Come on, get close. We need more dangerous encounters. Continue working on our equipment. Teleported behind me. Come on, be friends. Are we ready for this? It's like a disturbed song. I don't know. All the shit being said at once and I can't understand. Because I can understand disturbed songs. I can't understand about 90% of the battles because I can't hear anything. Ricklemore Sausage sounds like a disturbed song. Holy fuck. Look, a shooting star! And you cast that right on them. Whatever's happening over there is working. Teleporting, you want to fight? We'll fight. I fight everything anyway. Like how she's slightly behind. Could be one of the songs. Yeah, Deception. Or Megasonic Thrust. Or Slag Assault. But I'm this close. I won't miss. Form Zero. Next. Poor bird. Alright, well. Nothing can stop these fists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's an honor to I'm up. You know what you know what you're getting into. Holy fuck, what is going on over there? Is that? 